Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports for Night News. I'm Jeff Borick. If you enjoy the content and have not already, please continue to subscribe down below in the easy to use subscribe button to help us get to 200 by the end of February or up above on the easy to use widget at the end. I'm going to be on the women's team from Denmark in hockey playing very solid in their first tournament in the Olympic Games. Um, in their first game, as we look at that, they did fall 3-1 to the host country, China, who, of course, has a lot of people from dual nationalities um, on their club. Uh, Jensen played good. Repstock Rome played good uh, when she was in net, especially Repstock Rome played amazing in net. Um, and then <clears throat> uh, Pearson, Franson, Weiss, uh, Melberg, Glud, um, the forward uh, Jensen, um, in Nicoline Jensen or Nicole, I don't know if, who, what she goes by, but Nicoline Jensen played very well for Denmark as well. I hope I'm pronouncing that. So they they played a good game, especially for the first Olympic Games. Uh, they played a solid game, just playing a tough game, losing 3-1 to the host country China, losing 6-2 to Japan, who played really solid in their games. Um, and then they were able to beat the Czech Republic in a, <clears throat> in one of the more exciting, excuse me, uh, games to watch uh, in the women's circuits when it came to the uh, preliminary rounds, three to two, which was a game that went completely down to the wire. Glud scored to make it three two at forty forty nine, and then they were able to d up in that game and win that game. To me, I would have to give them because it's their first Olympics, so that obviously affects your overall grade and is going to bring it higher when you show all the spunk that Denmark did. And all the compete that Denmark did, and the ability to stay, to, to stay with it, or stick to itiveness, whatever way you want to put it, um, to stay with their um, system and never um, taper from it. I would have to give them a B in this tournament because they played really well for being in their first tournament, and they got a win over uh, Czech Republic, who also played exceptionally well, which I think might have been their first tournament. If not, it was one of their first Olympics. So. Uh, they played exceptionally well over a team that was coming in hot. Uh, the Czech Republic beat Sweden before that. The Czech Republic uh, before that beat the host country, China, um, who, of course, uh, Denmark fell to. And then they come in and beat a hot Czech Republic team, which I'm going to be doing a recap on their overall tournament soon after this one. So stay tuned for that. It will be linked in the Women's Olympic Hockey Playlist at the end of this video. If you want to check out all those videos. Uh, as well, I really appreciate it and love you guys for the support this far. But this has been a reaction to Denmark's play this far, which has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, they beat the Czech Republic. They lost 3-1 to one to Sweden, but battled in that game. Ha uh, had a very good compete level, which just Sweden has a little bit more... Um, I'm trying to think of the right way to slice it. Sweden has a little bit more A-level... A top tier talent at this point on their club. Denmark's in their first game, so it kinda went to the to Sweden there, but but to make it three to one and make it that competitive, I think they deserve a lot of hats off for that. And then that was all she wrote for Denmark. But great win over the Czech Republic. Competitive games against host country China and Sweden, who's a very good team. Not as competitive against Japan, but that's okay. I would say an overall B grade for Denmark because they play very good in their first game. Do you all agree? Let me know. But everybody have a great and pleasant day. I think Denmark's starting to build. We'll see what happens in the next Olympic game. Um, and also in the World Championships, obviously, I should say, actually, before that, we'll see what happens in different tournaments overseas in the World Championships before they're coming to the Olympics, because it seems like they're building in the right direction. They were a fun, competitive team to watch, that's for damn sure. Peace out, everybody.